Hamburger from Wikipedia, the free online encyclopedia at wikipedia.org. A hamburger, short burger, is a sandwich consisting of one or more cooked patties of ground meat, usually beef, placed inside a sliced bread roll or bun. The patty may be pan-fried, grilled, or flame-broiled. Hamburgers are often served with cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion, pickles, bacon, or chilies, condiments such as ketchup, mayonnaise, mustard, relish, or special sauce, and are frequently placed on sesame seed buns. A hamburger topped with cheese is called a cheeseburger. The term burger can also be applied to the meat patty on its own, especially in the United Kingdom, where the term patty is rarely used, or the term can even refer simply to ground beef. Since the term hamburger usually implies beef, for clarity, burger may be prefixed with a type of meat or meat substitute used, as in beef burger, turkey burger, bison burger, or veggie burger. Hamburgers are sold at fast food restaurants, diners, and specialty and high-end restaurants where burgers may sell for several times the cost of a fast food burger, but may be one of the cheaper options on the menu. There are many international and regional variations of the hamburger. Etymology and Terminology The term hamburger originally derives from Hamburg, Germany's second largest city. In German, Berg means castle, fortified settlement, or fortified refuge, and is a widespread component of place names. The first element of the name is perhaps from Old High German, Hama, referring to a bend in a river, or Middle High German, Ham, referring to an enclosed area of pasture land. Hamburger, in German, is the demonym of Hamburg, similar to Frankfurter and Vienna, names for other meat-based foods and demonyms of the cities of Frankfurt and Vienna, respectively. The term burger eventually became a suffix backformation that is associated with many different types of sandwiches, similar to a ground meat hamburger, but made of different meats such as buffalo in the buffalo burger, venison, kangaroo, turkey, elk, lamb, or fish, like salmon in the salmon burger, but even with meatless sandwiches, as is the case of the veggie burger. History there have been many claims about the origin of the hamburger, but the origins remain unclear. The popular book The Art of Cookery Made Plain and Easy by Hanna Glasse included a recipe in 1758 as Hamburg sausage, which suggested to serve it roasted with toasted bread under it. A similar snack was also popular in Hamburg by the name Rundstuck Warm, bread roll warm, in 1869 or earlier, and supposedly eaten by many emigrants on their way to America, but may have contained roasted beefsteak rather than frikadeller. Hamburg steak is reported to have been served between two pieces of bread on the Hamburg-America line, which began operations in 1847. Each of these may mark the invention of the hamburger and explain the name. There is a reference to a Hamburg steak as early as 1884 in the Boston Journal. On July 5, 1896, the Chicago Daily Tribune made a highly specific claim regarding a hamburger sandwich in an article about a sandwich car. Quote, a distinguished favorite, only five cents, is hamburger steak sandwich, the meat for which is kept ready in small patties and cooked while you wait on the gasoline range. End quote. Claims of invention. According to Connecticut Congresswoman Rosa DeLauro, the hamburger, a ground meat patty between two slices of bread, was first created in America in 1900 by Louis Lassen, a Danish immigrant, owner of Louis's Lunch in New Haven. There have been rival claims by Charlie Nagreen, Frank and Charles Menchus, Oscar Weber Bilby, and Fletcher Davis. White Castle traces the origin of the hamburger to Hamburg, Germany, with its invention by Otto Quass. However, it gained national recognition at the 1904 St. Louis World's Fair when the New York Tribune referred to the hamburger as, quote, the innovation of a food vendor on the pike. No conclusive argument has ever ended the dispute over invention. An article from ABC News sums up, quote, One problem is that there is little written history. Another issue is that the spread of the burger happened largely at the World's Fair, from tiny vendors that came and went in an instant, and it is entirely possible that more than one person came up with the idea at the same time in different parts of the country, end quote. Lewis Lassen Louis Lassen of Lewis's Lunch, a small lunch wagon in New Haven, Connecticut, is said to have sold the first hamburger and steak sandwich in the U.S. in 1900. New York Magazine states that, quote, the dish actually had no name until some rowdy sailors from Hamburg named the meat on a bun after themselves years later, end quote. Noting also that this claim is subject to dispute. A customer ordered a quick hot meal and Lewis was out of steaks. Taking ground beef trimmings, Lewis made a patty and grilled it, putting it between two slices of toast. Some critics, like Josh Ozersky, a food editor for New York Magazine, claim that this sandwich was not a hamburger because the bread was toasted. Charlie Negrine. One of the earliest claims comes from Charlie Negrine, who in 1885 sold a meatball between two slices of bread at the Seymour Fair, now sometimes called the Outagany County Fair. The Seymour Community Historical Society of Seymour, Wisconsin, credits Negrine, now known as Hamburger Charlie, with the invention. Negrine was 15 when he was reportedly selling pork sandwiches at the 1885 Seymour Fair, made so customers could eat while walking. The Historical Society explains that Negrine named the hamburger after the Hamburg steak with which local German immigrants were familiar. Otto Quas. According to White Castle, Otto Quas was the inventor of the hamburger. In 1891, he created a beef patty cooked in butter and topped with a fried egg. German sailors would later omit the fried egg. Oscar Weber Bilby The family of Oscar Weber Bilby claimed the first known hamburger on a bun was served on July 4, 1891, on Grandpa Oscar's farm. The bun was a yeast bun. In 1995, Governor Frank Keating proclaimed that the first true hamburger on a bun was created and consumed in Tulsa, Oklahoma in 1891, calling Tulsa the real birthplace of the hamburger. Frank and Charles Menchus 
Frank and Charles Minches claim to have sold a ground beef sandwich at the Erie County Fair in 1885 in Hamburg, New York. During the fair, they ran out of pork sausage for their sandwiches and substituted beef. Kunzog, who spoke to Frank Minches, says they exhausted their supply of sausage, so purchased chopped up beef from a butcher, Andrew Klein. Historian Joseph Streamer wrote that the meat was from Stein's Market, not Klein's, despite Stein's having sold the market in 1874. The story notes that the name of the hamburger comes from Hamburg, New York, not Hamburg, Germany. Frank Menchus' obituary in the New York Times states that these events took place at the 1892 Summit County Fair in Akron, Ohio. Fletcher Davis Fletcher Davis of Athens, Texas claimed to have invented the hamburger. According to oral histories, in the 1880s he opened a lunch counter in Athens and served a burger of fried ground beef patties with mustard and Bermuda onion between two slices of bread with a pickle on the side. The story is that in 1904, Davis and his wife City ran a sandwich stand at the St. Louis World's Fair. Historian Frank X. Tolbert noted that Athens resident Clint Murchison said his grandfather dated the hamburger to the 1880s with Old Dave, a.k.a. Fletcher Davis. A photo of Old Dave's hamburger stand from 1904 was sent to Tolbert as evidence of the claim. Other hamburger steak claims. Various nonspecific claims of invention relate to the term hamburger steak, without mention of its being a sandwich. The first printed American menu which listed hamburger is said to be an 1834 menu from Delmonico's in New York. However, the printer of the original menu was not in business in 1834. In 1889, a menu from Walla Walla Union in Washington offered hamburger steak as a menu item. Between 1871 and 1884, Hamburg beef steak was on the breakfast and supper menu of the Clipper Restaurant at 311 313 Pacific Street in San Fernando, California. It cost 10 cents, the same price as mutton chops, pig's feet in batter, and stewed veal. It was not, however, on the dinner menu. Only pig's head, calf tongue, and stewed kidneys were listed. Another claim ties the hamburger to Summit County, New York, or Ohio. Summit County, Ohio exists, but Summit County, New York does not. Early major vendors. 1921. White Castle, Wichita, Kansas. Due to widely anti-German sentiment in the U.S. during World War I, an alternative name for hamburgers was Salisbury Steak. Following the war, hamburgers became unpopular until the White Castle restaurant chain marketed and sold large numbers of small, two-and-a-half-inch square hamburgers known as sliders. They started to punch five holes in each patty, which helped them cook evenly and eliminate the need to flip the burger. In 1995, White Castle began selling frozen hamburgers in convenience stores and vending machines. 1923, QP Hamburgers, or QP Hotels, Flint, Michigan. QP was the second hamburger chain and peaked at 400 locations before World War II. Many of these were licensed but not strictly franchised. Many closed during World War II. Between 1955 and 1967, another wave closed or caused changes of name. In 1967, the QP licensor moved the company to a franchise system. Currently, only five locations exist. 1926, White Tower Hamburgers. 1927, Little Tavern. 1930s, White Castle II, run by Henry Casada. 1931, Crystal Restaurant. 1936, Big Boy. In 1937, Bob Wehan created the Double Deck Hamburger at his hamburger stand in Glendale, California. Big Boy would become the name of the hamburger, the mascot, and the restaurants. Big Boy expanded nationally through regional franchising and sub-franchising, primarily operating as drive-in restaurants in the 1950s. Interior dining gradually replaced curb service by the early 1970s. Many franchises have closed or operate independently, but at the remaining American restaurants, the Big Boy Double Deck Hamburger remains the signature item. 1940, McDonald's Restaurant, San Bernardino, California, was opened by Richard and Maurice McDonald. Their introduction of the speedy service system in 1948 established the principles of the modern fast food restaurant. The McDonald brothers began franchising in 1953. In 1961, Ray Kroc, the supplier of their multi-mixer milkshake machines, purchased the company from the brothers for $2.7 million and a 1.9% royalty. Today, Hamburgers are usually a feature of fast food restaurants. The hamburgers served in major fast food establishments are usually mass produced in factories and frozen for delivery to the site. These hamburgers are thin and of uniform thickness, differing from the traditional American hamburger prepared in homes and conventional restaurants, which is thicker and prepared by hand from ground beef. Most American hamburgers are round, but some fast food chains, such as Wendy's, sell square cut hamburgers. Hamburgers in fast food restaurants are usually grilled on a flat top, but some firms, such as Burger King, use a gas flame grilling process. At conventional American restaurants, hamburgers may be ordered rare, but normally are served medium well or well done for food safety reasons. Fast food restaurants do not usually offer this option. The McDonald's fast food chain sells the Big Mac, one of the world's top-selling hamburgers, with an estimated 550 million sold annually in the United States. Other major fast food chains, including Burger King, also known as Hungry Jack's in Australia, A&W, Culver's, Whataburger, Carl's Jr. Hardy's chain, Wendy's, known for their square patties, Jack in the Box, Cookout, Harvey's, Shake Shack, in and out Burger, Five Guys, Fat Burger, Vera's, Burgerville, Backyard Burgers, Licks Home Burger, Roy Rogers, Smash Burger, and Sonic also rely heavily on hamburger sales. Fuddruckers and Red Robin are hamburger chains that specialize in the mid-tier restaurant-style variety of hamburgers. Some restaurants offer elaborate hamburgers using expensive cuts of meat and various cheeses, toppings, and sauces. One example is the Bobby's Burger Palace chain, founded by well-known chef and Food Network star Bobby Flay. 
Hamburgers are often served as a fast dinner picnic or party food and are often cooked outdoors on barbecue grills. A high-quality hamburger patty is made entirely of ground minced beef and seasonings. These may be described as all-beef hamburger or all-beef patties to distinguish them from inexpensive hamburgers made with cost savers like added flour, textured vegetable protein, ammonia-treated defatted beef trimmings, which the company Beef Products Incorporated calls lean, finely textured beef, advanced meat recovery, or other fillers. In the 1930s, ground liver was sometimes added. Some cooks prepare their patties with binders like eggs or breadcrumbs. Seasonings may include salt and pepper and others like parsley, onions, soy sauce, Thousand Island dressing, onion soup mix, or Worcestershire sauce. Many name brand seasoned salt products are also used. Safety. Raw hamburger may contain harmful bacteria that can produce foodborne illness such as Escherichia coli 0157H7 due to the occasional initial improper preparation of the meat, so caution is needed during handling and cooking. Because of the potential for foodborne illness, the USDA recommends hamburgers be cooked to an internal temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit, 71 degrees Celsius. If cooked to this temperature, they are considered well done. Variations Burgers can also be made with patties made from ingredients other than beef. For example, a turkey burger uses ground turkey meat, a chicken burger uses ground chicken meat, a buffalo burger uses ground meat from a bison, and an ostrich burger is made from ground seasoned ostrich meat. A deer burger uses ground venison from deer. A veggie burger, black bean burger, garden burger, or tofu burger uses a meat analog, a meat substitute such as tofu, TVP, seitan, wheat gluten, corn, beans, grains, or an assortment of vegetables ground up and mashed into patties. Steak Burgers a steak burger is a marketing term for a hamburger claimed to be of superior quality, or, in Australia, a sandwich containing a steak. Steak burgers are first mentioned in the 1920s. Like other hamburgers, they may be prepared with various accompaniments and toppings. Use of the term steak burger dates to the 1920s in the United States. In the U.S. in 1934, A.H. Gus Belt, the founder of Steak and Shake, devised a higher quality hamburger and offered it as a steak burger to customers at the company's first location in Normal, Illinois. This burger used a combination of ground meat from the strip portion of T-bone steak and sirloin steak in its preparation. Steak burgers are a primary menu item at Steak and Shake restaurants, and the company's registered trademarks include Original Steak Burger and Famous for Steak Burgers. Steak and Shake's prime steak burgers are now made of choice grade brisket and chuck. Beef is typical, although other meats such as lamb and pork may also be used. The meat is ground or chopped. In Australia, a steak burger is a steak sandwich which contains a whole steak, not ground meat. Steak burgers may be cooked to various degrees of doneness. Steak burgers may be served with standard hamburger toppings such as lettuce, onion, and tomato. Some may have additional various toppings such as cheese, bacon, fried egg, mushrooms, additional meats, and others. Various fast food outlets and restaurants such as Burger King, Carl's Jr., Hardee's, IHOP, Steak and Shake, Mr. Steak, and Freddy's market steak burgers. Some restaurants offer high-end burgers prepared from aged beef. Additionally, many restaurants have used the term steak burger at various times. Some baseball park concessions in the United States call their hamburgers steak burgers, such as Johnny Rosenblatt Steak in Omaha, Nebraska. Burger King introduced the sirloin steak sandwich in 1979 as part of a menu expansion that in turn was part of a corporate restructuring effort for the company. It was a single, oblong patty made of a chopped steak served on a sub-style sesame seed roll. Additional steak burgers that Burger King has offered are the Angus Bacon Cheddar Ranch Steak Burger, the Angus Bacon and Cheese Steak Burger, and a limited edition Stuffed Steakhouse Burger. In 2004, Steak and Shake sued Burger King over the latter's use of the term steak burger in conjunction with one of its menu items, claiming that such use infringed on trademark rights. According to the St. Louis Post-Dispatch, Burger King's attorneys grilled Steak and Shake's CEO in court about the precise content of Steak and Shake's steak burger offering. United States and Canada in the United States and Canada, burgers may be classified as two main types, fast food hamburgers and individually prepared burgers made in homes and restaurants. The latter are often prepared with a variety of toppings including lettuce, tomato, onion, and often sliced pickles or pickle relish. French fries often accompany the burger. Cheese, usually processed cheese slices but often cheddar, Swiss, pepper jack, or blue, either melted directly on the meat patty or crumbled on top, is generally an option. Condiments might be added to a hamburger or may be offered separately on the side, including mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, salad dressings, and barbecue sauce. Other toppings can include bacon, avocado or guacamole, sliced sautéed mushrooms, cheese sauce, chili, usually without beans, fried egg, scrambled egg, feta cheese, blue cheese, salsa, pineapple, jalapenos and other kinds of chili peppers, anchovies, slices of ham or bologna, pastrami or teriyaki seasoned beef, tartar sauce, french fries, onion rings, or potato chips. Standard toppings on hamburgers may depend upon location, particularly at restaurants that are not national or regional franchises. Restaurants may offer hamburgers with multiple meat patties. The most common variants are double and triple hamburgers, but California-based burger chain In-N-Out once sold a sandwich with 100 patties, called a 100 by 100. Pastrami burgers may be served in Salt Lake City, Utah. A patty melt consists of a patty, sautéed onions, and cheese between two slices of rye bread. The sandwich is then buttered and fried. 
A slider is a very small square hamburger patty sprinkled with diced onions and served on an equally small bun. According to the earliest citations, the name originated aboard U.S. Navy ships due to the manner in which greasy burgers slid across the galley grill as the ship pitched and rolled. Other versions claim the term slider originated from the hamburgers served by flight line galleys at military airfields, which were so greasy they slid right through you, or because their small size allows them to slide right down your throat in one or two bites. In Alberta, Canada, a QB burger is a hamburger made with a pressed Ukrainian sausage, kubasa. In Minnesota, a Juicy Lucy is a hamburger having cheese inside the meat patty rather than on top. A piece of cheese is surrounded by raw meat and cooked until it melts, resulting in a molten core of cheese within the patty. This scalding hot cheese tends to gush out at the first bite, so servers frequently instruct customers to let the sandwich cool for a few minutes before consumption. A low-carb burger is a hamburger served without a bun and replaced with large slices of lettuce, with mayonnaise or mustard being the sauces primarily used. A ramen burger, invented by Keizo Shimamoto, is a hamburger patty sandwiched between two discs of compressed ramen noodles in lieu of a traditional bun. France In 2012, according to a study by the NDP cabinet, the French consume 14 hamburgers in restaurants per year per person, placing them fourth in the world and second in Europe, just behind the British. According to a study by Gira Conseil on the consumption of hamburger in France in 2013, 75% of traditional French restaurants offer at least one hamburger on their menu, and for a third of these restaurants, it has become the leader in the range of dishes ahead of rib steaks, grills, or fish. French chefs have adapted the hamburger according to the rules of their traditional cuisine, baker's bread, minced butcher's meat, and fresh local products, handmade french fries, and traditional homemade sauces. The aim is to prepare a dish of equivalent quality to the traditional dishes of French cuisine. Mexico in Mexico, burgers, called hamburguesas, are served with ham and slices of American cheese fried on top of the meat patty. The toppings include avocado, jalapeno slices, shredded lettuce, onion, and tomato. The bun has mayonnaise, ketchup, and mustard. In certain parts, with bacon, which can be fried or grilled along with the meat patty. A slice of pineapple is also a usual option, and the variation is known as a Hawaiian hamburger. Some restaurants' burgers also have barbecue sauce, and others also replace the ground patty with sirloin, al pastor meat, barbacoa, or a fried chicken breast. Many burger chains from the United States can be found all over Mexico, including Carl's Jr., Sonic, as well as global chains such as McDonald's and Burger King. United Kingdom and Ireland Hamburgers in the UK and Ireland are very similar to those in the US, and the high street is dominated by the same big two chains as in the US, McDonald's and Burger King. The menus offered to both countries are virtually identical, although portion sizes tend to be smaller in the UK. In Ireland, the food outlet Supermax is widespread throughout the country serving burgers as part of its menu. In Ireland, Abracababra started out selling kebabs, and Eddie Rockets are also major chains. An original and indigenous rival to the big two U.S. giants was the quintessentially British fast food chain Wimpy, originally known as Wimpy Bar, opened 1954 at the Lion's Corner House in Coventry Street, London, which served its hamburgers on a plate with British-style chips, accompanied by cutlery, and delivered to the customer's table. In the late 1970s, to compete with McDonald's, Wimpy began to open American-style counter-service restaurants, and the brand disappeared from many U.K. high streets when those restaurants were rebranded as Burger Kings between 1989 and 1990 by the then-owner of both brands, Grand Metropolitan. A management buyout in in 1990 split the brands again, and now Wimpy table service restaurants can still be found in many town centers, whilst new counter service Wimpies are now often found at motorway service stations. Hamburgers are also available from mobile kiosks, commonly known as burger vans, particularly at outdoor events such as football matches. Burgers from this type of outlet are usually served without any form of salad, only fried onions and a choice of tomato ketchup, mustard, or brown sauce. Chip shops, particularly in the West Midlands and Northeast of England, Scotland, and Ireland, serve battered hamburgers called batter burgers. This is where the burger patty, by itself, is deep fat fried in batter and is usually served with chips. Hamburgers and veggie burgers served with chips and salad are standard pub grub menu items. Many pubs specialize in gourmet burgers. These are usually high-quality minced steak patties topped with items such as blue cheese, brie, avocado, etc. Some British pubs serve burger patties made from more exotic meats including venison burgers, sometimes nicknamed Bambi burgers, bison burgers, ostrich burgers, and in some Australian-themed pubs even kangaroo burgers can be purchased. These burgers are served in a similar way to the traditional hamburger but are sometimes served with a different sauce including red currant sauce, mint sauce, and plum sauce. In the early 21st century, premium hamburger chain and independent restaurants have arisen. Selling burgers produced from meat stated to be of high quality and often organic, usually served to eat on the premises rather than to take away. Chains include Gourmet Burger Kitchen, Ultimate Burger, Hamburger Union, and Byron Hamburgers in London. Independent restaurants such as Meat Market and Dirty Burger developed a style of rich, juicy burger in 2012, which is known as a Dirty Burger or Third Wave Burger. In recent years, Rustler's has sold pre-cooked hamburgers reheatable in a microwave oven in the United Kingdom. In the UK, as in North America and Japan, the term burger can refer simply to the patty, be it beef, some other kind of meat, or vegetarian. Australia and New Zealand Fast food franchises sell American-style fast food hamburgers in Australia and New Zealand. 
The traditional Australasian hamburgers are usually bought from fish and chip shops or milk bars. The hamburger meat is almost always ground beef or mince, as it is more commonly referred to in Australia and New Zealand. They commonly include tomato, lettuce, grilled onion, and meat as minimum, and can optionally include cheese, beetroot, pineapple, a fried egg, and bacon. If all these optional ingredients are included, it is known in Australia as burger with a lot. The term burger is also applied to any hot sandwich using a bun for the bread, even when the filling does not contain beef, such as a chicken burger, generally with chicken breast rather than chicken mince, salmon burger, pulled pork burger, veggie burger, etc. The term sandwich is usually only applied when the bread used is sliced bread. The only variance between the two countries' hamburgers is that New Zealand's equivalent to the lot often contains a steak, beef as well. The condiments regularly used are barbecue sauce and tomato sauce. The McDonald's McGaw's Burger is partway between American and Australian-style burgers having beetroot and tomato in an otherwise typical American burger. However, it is no longer a part of the menu. Likewise, McDonald's in New Zealand created a kiwi burger, similar to a quarter pounder, but features salad, beetroot, and a fried egg. The Hungry Jack's Burger King Aussie Burger has tomato, lettuce, onion, cheese, bacon, beetroot, egg, ketchup, and a meat patty. China In China, restaurants such as McDonald's and KFC exist, which sell hamburgers. Japan In Japan, hamburgers can be served in a bun called hanbaga, or just the patty served without a bun, known as hambugu, or hamburg, short for Hamburg steak. Hamburg steaks served without buns are similar to what are known as Salisbury steaks in the U.S. They are made from minced beef, pork, or a blend of the two mixed with minced onions, egg, breadcrumbs, and spices. They are served with brown sauce or demi-glace in restaurants, with vegetable or salad sides, or occasionally in Japanese curries. Hamburgers may be served in casual Western-style suburban restaurant chains known in Japan as family restaurants. Hamburgers and buns, on the other hand, are predominantly the domain of fast food chains. Japan has homegrown hamburger chain restaurants such as MOS Burger, First Kitchen, and Freshness Burger. Local varieties of burgers served in Japan include teriyaki burgers, katsu burgers containing tonkatsu, and burgers containing shrimp karok. Some of the more unusual examples include the rice burger, where the bun is made of rice, and the luxury 1,000 yen $10 takumi burger, meaning artisan taste featuring avocados, freshly grated wasabi, and other rare seasonal ingredients. In terms of the actual patty, there are burgers made with Kobe beef, butchered from cows that are fed with beer and massaged daily. McDonald's Japan also recently launched a McPork burger made with U.S. pork. McDonald's has been gradually losing market share in Japan to these local hamburger chains, due in part to the preference of Japanese diners for fresh ingredients and more refined, upscale hamburger offerings. Burger King once retreated from Japan but re-entered the market in summer 2007 in cooperation with the Korean-owned Japanese fast food chain Loteria. According to the Guinness World Records, a Japanese man, Takeru Kobayashi, ate the greatest number of hamburgers in three minutes on July 11, 2014. Other countries Rice burgers mentioned above are also available in several East Asian countries such as Taiwan and South Korea. Lotteria is a big hamburger franchise in Japan owned by the South Korean Latte Group, with outlets also in China, South Korea, Vietnam, and Taiwan. In addition to selling beef hamburgers, they also have hamburgers made from squid, pork, tofu, and shrimp. Variations available in South Korea include bulgogi burgers and kimchi burgers. In the Philippines, a wide range of major U.S. fast food franchises are well represented, together with local imitators, often amended to the local palate. The chain McDonald's, locally nicknamed McDo, have a range of burger and chicken dishes, often accompanied by plain steamed rice or french fries. The Philippines boasts its own burger chain called Jollibee, which offers burger meals and chicken, including a signature burger called Champ. Jollibee now has a number of outlets in the United States, the Middle East, and East Asia. In India, burgers are usually made from chicken or vegetable patties due to cultural beliefs against eating beef, which stem from Hindu religious practice, and pork, which stems from Islamic religious practice. Because of this, the majority of fast food chains and restaurants in India do not serve beef. McDonald's in India, for instance, does not serve beef, offering the Maharaja Mac instead of the Big Mac, substituting the beef patties with chicken. Another version of the Indian vegetarian burger is the Vada Pav, consisting of deep-fried potato patty dipped in gram flour batter. It is usually served with mint chutney and fried green chili. In Pakistan, apart from American fast food chains, burgers can be found in stalls near shopping areas, the best known being the Shami burger. This is made from Shami kebab, made by mixing lentil and minced lamb. Onions, scrambled egg, and ketchup are the most popular toppings. In Malaysia, there are 300 McDonald's restaurants. The menu in Malaysia also includes eggs and fried chicken on top of the regular burgers. Burgers are also easily found at nearby mobile kiosks, especially Ramli Burger. In Mongolia, a recent fast food craze due to the sudden influx of foreign influence has led to the prominence of the hamburger. Specialized fast food restaurants serving to Mongolian tastes have sprung up and seen great success. In Turkey, in addition to the internationally familiar offerings, numerous localized variants of the hamburger may be found, such as the Islak burger, literally wet burger, which is a beef slider doused in seasoned tomato sauce and steamed inside a special glass chamber, and has its origins in the Turkish fast food retailer Kizil Kayalar. Other variations include lamb burgers and offal burgers, which are offered by local fast food businesses and global chains alike, such as McDonald's and Burger King.
Most burger shops have also adopted a pizzeria-like approach when it comes to home delivery and almost all major fast food chains deliver. In the former Yugoslavia, and originally in Serbia, there is a local version of the hamburger known as the Plieskovica. It is often served as a patty but may have a bun as well. Throughout Belgium and in some eateries in the Netherlands, a Bicky burger is sold that combines pork, chicken, and horse meat. The hamburger, usually fried, is served between a bun sprinkled with sesame seeds. It often comes with a specific Bicky sauce, Bicky dressing, made with mayonnaise, mustard, cabbage, and onion. Unusual Hamburgers In May 2012, Serendipity 3 was recognized as the Guinness World Record holder for serving the world's most expensive hamburger, the $295 Le Burger Extravagant. At $499, the world's largest hamburger commercially available tips the scales at 185.8 pounds, 84.3 kilograms, and is on the menu at Mally's Sports Grill and Bar in Southgate, Michigan. It is called the Absolutely Ridiculous Burger, which takes about 12 hours to prepare. It was cooked and adjudicated on May 30, 2009. A $777 Kobe beef and Maine lobster burger topped with caramelized onions, brie cheese, and prosciutto was reported available at Le Burger Brasserie inside the Paris Las Vegas casino. New York chef Daniel Boulud created an intricate dish composed of layers of ground sirloin, foie gras, and wine braised short ribs assembled to look exactly like a fast food burger. It is available with truffles in season. On September 2, 2012, the Black Bear Casino Resort near Carlton, Minnesota, made the world record bacon cheeseburger that weighed 2,014 pounds, 214 kilograms. Guinness World Records verified the record for biggest burger. In Las Vegas, Nevada, at the Heart Attack Grill, there is a quadruple bypass burger. The burger weighs two pounds, and the name is derived from the fact that the burger is unhealthy. The restaurant is known for being honest about the fact that their food is unhealthy. They allow people that weigh over 350 pounds, 160 kilograms, to eat free. On August 5, 2013, the first hamburger made from meat lab-grown from cow stem cells was served. The hamburger was the result of research in the Netherlands led by Mark Post at Maastricht University and sponsored by Google's co-founder, Sergey Brin. Slang $100 Hamburger $100 hamburger is aviation slang for a general aviation pilot needing an excuse to fly. A $100 hamburger trip typically involves flying a short distance, less than two hours, eating at an airport restaurant, and flying home. Steamed Hams Steamed hams is a fictitious name used for hamburgers, originating in the Simpsons episode 22 short films about Springfield, as Skinner tries to convince the superintendent that the term is used in Albany, New York. See also Cheeseburger, Chicken Sandwich, Frikadeller, Frikandel, Kofta, Hamburg Steak, List of Hamburgers, List of Hamburger Restaurants, List of Sandwiches, Meat Grinder, Plieskovica, a traditional Balkan meal, Salisbury Steak, and Steak Sandwich. This audio was recorded August 1st, 2019.